Hey guys and welcome back. Dev Spider here. So the dev just came out with a brand new announcement today about the version 7 update. So with that said, we're going to go over that really quick for anybody who doesn't have time to read it or they're at work and just want to hear what's going on. Maybe they're on the way from home. So let's jump right into it. There's going to be a lot of changes, some new stuff added. And like I said before, and I've been hitting that just based on what I've been picking up in the Discord, it's going to mostly be about AI updates. But as usual, the dev's going to add in a lot of new stuff too. And uh, let's go ahead and go over what he's got here. So it says he'd like to share the progress of version 7.0. Uh, below is listed a, here's a list of additions, changes that are completed so far for the upcoming update. This post will be updated every few days, so be sure to keep an eye on it if you would like to keep tabs on the stuff coming down the pipeline. The update should be ready early February. Um, first thing mentioned is the new AI system. This update will introduce a complete rework of all AI systems. It will not include any new Van B types and animations, but they will quickly be added in future updates. Much of these systems are still in the works, and he will not give too much info regarding what will be different just yet. New Horde Knight system, hordes will be much more difficult to kill. A new jump attack that holds and bites players. They will not always just run towards players when attacking, a chance at them dodging arrows and projectiles. So for me, I'm going to have to actually build some defenses because normally I just kite them in a circle. <laughs> now they sound like they're going to be a lot more dangerous. All right, new content he's adding, and a lot of people are excited about this. I didn't even know anything about this yet. So the new content, glass structures. I have started to implement glass structure parts, added glass wall, glass door, glass door a wall, glass ceiling. So I'll pause here for a second on the photo in case somebody wants to take a look. And it's just uh, your standard building, but it's outlined in the new glass structures that he's adding. Here's an inside shot. And this looks really cool to me. Like I, I really like this glass door too, if you look at the top right here. And I've already got some ideas of what I think I can do with that. So I can't wait to build it. Uh, a few more furniture placeables. Added the wood coffee table, the wood bench, and the wood cabinet too. Which I'll pause on those for a second for everybody. Alright, next. Um, the next, probably one of the most requested things so far. Iron tools will be added. Added iron axe head crafted on the anvil. Iron pickaxe head crafted on the anvil. Iron pickaxe, double the damage, triple the durability of the stone pickaxe. The iron axe, double the damage, triple the durability of the stone axe. So now our, our tools will last a lot longer. And they look really nice too. So I'm going to pause on those for everybody for one second. And as you can see on this table right here, they will be crafted separately. So you have to make the head on the anvil, or make the heads for each tool on the anvil, and then you'll have to make the actual tools. Alright, the anvil, a new placeable, required to craft various items such as nails, screws, etc. etc. So here's a picture of that. Nails and screws. Most placeables will now require nails and or screws to build. These items can be crafted on the anvil. Regular wood structure parts like foundations, walls, etc. will not require nails at this time. So here's the nails and the screws. And new food item, the ration pack. Added a new food item, no perish time and will ne never spoil. Plus one to max health and stamina when consumed. So this will be called the ration. To craft it, it will take one stew mix, one veggie salad, one fruit salad, one plastic. Let me see. we have a picture of it? Are we hovering on it? Let's see. Where are you at? Right here. Okay, so it's at the bottom of the food menu right here. Looks just like the MRE. All right, game sounds. Changing new adding of water sound to the flasks. Footstep sounds on dirt and grass. Added out of breath sound with no more stamina. Added take water sound to the water basin. Changing the drinking sound, changing the eating sound. Added fire sputter sound when adding water on the campfire to turn it off. Fire sputter sound added when adding water on the forge to turn it off. Fire sputter sound when adding water on the coal heater to turn it off. Fire sputter sound when adding water on the metal stove to turn it off. Fire sputter sound when adding water on the brick forge to turn it off. Lighter sound when turning on when lighting fires on the same thing. So when you light the campfire, the forge, coal heater, metal stove, brick forge, you will get the sound of the lighter. Other changes and additions. Can now harvest firewood into four sticks. Starter MRE food item, texture changed. 
Reduce stone axe damage on trees from 20 to 15. Reduce stone pickaxe damage on rocks from 15 to 10. So it's going to take longer to harvest those initially. Weapons rack can now support the new iron tools. Many placeable recipes will now require nails and or screws. Nails bulk recipe, screws bulk recipe. So the devs getting a lot better about uh, adding in the bulk recipes for things that we're going to need a lot of, which is really nice. And then uh, the final part will be bug fixes. When moving damaged fences, the durability would get reset to max health if it was already damaged. Using dirty water to turn off forges, campfires, etc. would turn the remaining water clean. Fix the concrete door and mesh collisions. Sometimes we get stuck not being able to walk through if using the new stairs. Fixed water buoyancy so that player heads remain above water. All right, that's great because I always have issues when swimming. So guys, he says he's going to post uh, more updates as we get closer to the actual update which, as I said before, will be in early February. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to this, so that's why I got, wanted to go ahead and get the video out. He just announced it in Discord. Let me see when that was. Um, ba -ba -ba, announcements. So he just announced this today at 11.20 on the 12th of January. All right, guys. So uh, I'm looking forward to these new updates. Uh, if you're interested in all this stuff, guys, I'm going to keep up to date on content. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got some new videos out. Uh, today and yesterday on my latest buildings uh, leave some comments below and let me know what y'all think okay and i'll look forward to seeing you on the game and seeing how y'all build your new bases